Hey guys, what's up? It's been really snowy where I live, and this is the picture of my car in my front yard. Yeah, it's pretty snowy. But that's not why you're here. You're here to learn something new. So, let's dig in. First thing I'm going to do is go to my rack. And since today we're going to learn how to better edit our drums individually with individual lanes in our main mixer, which is our main mixer. And the first thing we're going to do is right click create a redrum. And the first thing we want to do is get rid of this mix channel. Right click on the mix channel, delete, and delete selected only. Do not delete all in a group. Next thing we're going to do is create a mixer 14 2. And the first thing I'm going to do with this is rename it to RD main, meaning redrum main. I'm going to change the track color to yellow to better distinguish later on. And then underneath this, I'm going to right click and create a mix channel. Now, with the mix channel, I want the track color to be red. And I'm going to, as soon as I get done with this, I'll explain to you why I'm making this red and this yellow. Uh, first thing is click on this mix then you're gonna hit command D or control D nine times so basically now you have ten mixes and now we can get to work uh, hit tab and flip your track around or flip your rack around might I say and first thing we're gonna do is drag come up here to the reach rum and drag Audio output one down to mix channel input one. And take the input from two, put it into three, put it in three. We can do this all the way to ten. Alright, now that we've got all ten inputs routed to their own separate mix channels, we're gonna take the output of each mix channel and put it into the RD main we created, which is our remix or mixer 14.2. So one goes to one, two to two, three to three, all the way to ten again. All right, and now we have all ten outputs routed to the separate mixer that we just created. And the next thing we want to do is rename all of these mix channels to R1, corresponding to lane one, and R2, all the way to ten. All right, let's flip that around. Um, you can minimize all these to save space. And we can minimize this remix because it's basically a slave to us. I'm just going to put in a quick pattern. Uh, my kick is going to be 15913. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, now let's switch over to our main mixer. And first thing we're going to do, now that we know that this is our kick, because we could have loaded anything in that slot. I'm using this as an example. It's going to be the kick. This is the low tom. Mid. Oops. Mid. And high. High. And this is high. So you can see each track is coming through its own mix lane and the mixer that we created, since everything goes to its own mix and then back to the mixer, the mixer is the cutoff for everything so it'll be our main slider. And these will, you can cut out everything you want. So we can do your mixing. Because if you add another synth, this wouldn't just cut out your mix. This wouldn't just cut out your drums, it would cut out your entire mix, including your synth. So this is your drum level. Entire drum level. And that's basically how you can individually create a lane for every drum piece you have in Redrum. So the power of the music is finally back in our hands. And next week we will continue with our weekly song 
maybe I'll use this, maybe not. Also, I just launched a new website, it's called Brandon's Reason. It's a blog for my vlogs and tutorials where basically I'm posting, so far I've posted Create a Song Part 1, 2, and 3, or Week 2 and 3, and I've gave a little bit of a description, but from now on I'm going to give all of my videos in Word form, I'm going to post it here first. You can click on the video page and it's going to load a page of all of my videos. Big old list of them. I have a page for my gear. This shows a list of all the gear I use, computers, hardware, keyboards, software. And there's a store uh, where I'm paired up with Amazon. Basically, I've added a few things to a list. Uh, you can buy it through Amazon. So there's some good stuff in there. And then there's a page that's all about me. You can read through it. This is how I got involved in music, um, what it's like living in my town. It's basically the cheesy, stupid story that everybody has. It's the same as everybody else's, too. So stop by, check that out. I'm going to post it at the bottom of this video. And I will see you guys next week.